Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Loop Pure Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. Now Loop as a manufacturer, or Loop Technology as they're called, is quite a new company to the market, especially in the market of cordless vacuum cleaners. And it's a company based in Bristol, so it's really nice to be testing a product that I know has been designed in Britain. Uh, it is a product that I have been keeping my eye on for a while. I've uh, sort of followed how they've been progressing. So I'm really excited to, to actually try it and to see one in the flesh now. So what I'll do is I'll get it unboxed, build it up and then let's have a go with it. Now I always think the first impressions are quite important and I must say I love the design of this box. Um, it was sent in an outer cardboard box to me so as it's been sent via a courier then at least it was being protected so it's not going to damage this internal box. But as we open this, so first of all you've got a handle on the box uh, which makes it a lot easier to carry and I've, again I love the design of this and I know it's only a box, it's the packaging for it but I think what, what the guys have done is, is very very good. Uh, so I'll start to unpack the vacuum itself. These are the instructions, uh, I might refer to those. Uh, clearly this is something that most men are not quite au fait with. Uh, these are quite important if you need to know how to use it. But as we start to unbox them, so we've got some of the tools in here. So there's a couple of brushes. This is a tool caddy, so that's normally quite useful to put on the vacuum to keep the tools around the vacuum rather than having to store them elsewhere. This is the main socket. And this is a good idea. So this is the charger. Yeah, so that will just fit onto there like that. And it's good design having it like that. So clearly when this arrives to you, then it will have the appropriate plug, depending on which country you're in. And the next thing is the head itself. I uh, have heard quite a lot about this front roller. I'm uh, really excited to try this because this is something quite unique in the market. Uh, so that's the, the main floor head itself. got the active body of the vacuum. I do like the design of this. Uh, I just think the, the simplicity of it. Uh, I do really like the white. So yeah, the, the design and to go with the, the black and the green finish, I, I think looks looks very modern. And last thing in the box is the handle. And with this, it's got the, the name of it. So the pure cordless on the handle. And it's a really nice finish. It's a, a nice matte black finish. And the handle at the top here has it's got a like a rubber inlay in here. And this is something that one or two manufacturers have started to do, and it makes life so much easier when you're actually using the vacuum. So what I'll do is I'll clear the, the box away and let's get everything set up. So now everything's unboxed, and here she is, the loop pure cordless vacuum cleaner. And clearly what Loop are doing is they are aiming this at the higher end of the cordless vacuum market. And that's really reflected in some of the specs on this model. Uh, the runtime is up to 60 minutes runtime. And also things like the bin capacity. Uh, on this model it's actually a 1 litre capacity. And as far as I know there aren't any other cordless vacuums that have that kind of capacity. Uh, it's something I do talk about quite a lot, uh, either through our websites or in our showrooms. Uh, the bin capacity because there's nothing more annoying than having to keep emptying the uh, the bin on the cordless vacuum. So I'll take you around the vacuum cleaner and show you how it all works. So the first thing is you've got the on and off button in the middle and when you press that then the vacuum itself switches on. Uh, you have got the plus and minus buttons here uh, so clearly you have got the a higher suction so if you've got an area that really needs a good cleaning 
then just press the plus button there. And I'll just show you that, but I will give you a proper demonstration of it in a moment. So hopefully you heard the suction really increase then. Uh, what you've also got, the button at the bottom here, that's for the roller at the, uh, down here. And when it's actually working, you've actually got two settings. So, and, and again, depending on the surface you're on, you can actually increase or decrease the speed of the roller. So you wouldn't be able to see that, but hopefully you could hear the difference in the speed of the roller. Now what I think Loop have done very well is coming up with this design of the vacuum that's a very stable design. And what I mean by that is that it sits there and there's no risk of it falling over. Um, and the main reason I mention that is because I've got a showroom here and we've got around 30 to 40 quarter vacuums on display and there are quite a few of them that when they're standing up they are very precarious, um, just standing on their own and you know, sometimes some of them do fall over because the design of those are not that great for just standing there. Uh, quite a few other cordless vacuums need a wall bracket to be fully supported. Uh, quite a lot of the Dyson products uh, come with a wall bracket, so that's something that you need to do, and you need to find a wall and a socket nearby for that to work. Um, it is something that a lot of our customers are not really happy with. Uh, they don't want to do that. They just want a vacuum that just sits on the floor like they've always done and that's really where again this this is a real winner so when it comes to charging the vacuum then this is the charger it comes with i showed you that earlier when i unboxed it uh, but there are a couple of ways that you can charge it now the first one is that if you if you want to find a plug socket and stand the vacuum near to it then you can charge it actually on the vacuum itself so it just plugs in the front there uh, the other way you can do it is, if you didn't want to, to do that, then you can actually take the battery out. So it just pulls out like that. So a couple of advantages of having the battery separate. Uh, the, the main thing with any cordless product is, over the years of owning any cordless product, whether it's a vacuum cleaner, drill, screwdriver, that you will notice that the life of the battery, as in the amount of time you can use it, will start to reduce. So the runtime on this starts at 60 minutes, and over several years, and it does take quite a few years, then you will find that the, the runtime will start to reduce. Uh, but really what Loop have done is they've come up with a great design by having a spare, uh, separate battery. Uh, so what you can do is you can actually, as I mentioned, you can charge the battery on the vacuum, or if you wanted to, you could charge it separately. So you've got the ability just to go and plug this in, and then just go and pop it in a, a uh, mains socket and then get that charged up and that has a huge advantage because if you wanted to buy a spare battery so if you had to do a lot of vacuuming then you could even buy several batteries so if you're using this to do a very large house or uh, if this was your job to use cordless vacuums then you could buy several of these batteries and that would enable you to get a, a much longer runtime. Uh, so with this one you don't have to charge it on the vacuum and that's quite unique in the market because a lot of other manufacturers you do have to charge the battery on the vacuum itself. So I'll just turn it around and show you the, the bin around the back and as I mentioned earlier it has a one litre capacity which is absolutely fantastic. It means you can do a lot of vacuuming before you need to empty it. And to actually empty the bin, I'll just turn it back around, you've got a little button at the top here so all you do is you press that and then the bin releases around the back and then when you want to empty it you just press that button there and then it will actually drop down um, when it comes to the filter you've got a filter on the back here uh, that just pulls out and all you need to do is to to clean it just give this a give it a rinse under water uh, so you've actually got the two filters in there so you will be able to buy spare filters um, but it is nice to know that at least they are washable um, all we recommend, and it's the same really with any vacuum cleaner, once you have washed this, you, you have to let it dry completely for around 24 hours. So if you do need to use a vacuum quite a lot, then perhaps, perhaps I'd recommend buying a, a spare filter, just so at least you've got one that you can be washing and letting dry, and you've got the other one that you can actually be using within the vacuum so you don't lose any time vacuuming.
And then to put the bin back on, then it just locates at the back and then just clips back into place. So, so just to show you the rollers on this one, and it has actually got two at the bottom here. So you've actually got this one, which is, it's like a rubber, it's like a spongy feeling one, uh, which I, I do love the design of this. Uh, and you've also got a stiff bristle brush underneath. Uh, so both of those, they can come out. Um, I won't do it at the moment, but all you need to do is to get a coin, just pop it in the side, and it's giving you the instructions on the side there. So I did mention earlier, that this is actually a three in one cordless vacuum. The main one is the upright mode. So this is where you're just using it as a normal vacuum on the floor. Um, so that's called upright mode. The next one is called hose mode. And with that, all you do is you press that button on the front. And this is very unique in the market. And what this enables you to do is to actually uh, get up little bits, but while you are using it in the upright mode. Uh, this is, again, quite a unique design. Uh, I must admit there's nothing more annoying than when you are vacuuming, especially if you go around skirting boards and there's just an area you can't get into. Uh, rather than having to change it into a handheld like most other brands, then you've got this option here to change it into what they call hose mode. And it just releases that little hose. Uh, it is actually quite a good length, saying it's a little hose. Uh, I'd say that's over a metre long. Um, so yeah, you've got that option there. And the last option out of the three in one is called carry mode. And what this enables you to do, so I've got a button around the back here, is to press that. And this releases it from the main floor head. Uh, and this enables you to use it as a handheld. So really the idea, once it's released from the main floor head, then you can use this to carry around. Uh, you've got various options. So if you just wanted to use it uh, say the, the little hose at the front, then you can take the handle off, that just reduces the weight a little bit. Uh, so you can use that on its own accord if you want to. Uh, something I haven't shown you yet are the tools that it comes with. Uh, I will just show you those. Uh, so the first one is this one. This is a, a dual action brush. Uh, it's quite a, a soft brush on the, the top there. And then if you press the button, then it does actually change it into like an upholstery brush so that's something that um, it's a good design uh, it's something that is fairly popular uh, within the market and it's little things like that that so they've got the the name etched into the the tool itself which is a nice design and on this one this is a again a dual action tool uh, you've actually got the crevice tool at the end here that's really a popular one and if you move that up then that locks into place and again you've got a, a soft brush at the end there. Um, I'm always a fan of these dual brushes or dual action tools. Uh, the main reason is quite a few other brands will just have a single tool for every purpose but what Loop have done is they've basically put four tools into two so it just makes life a, a lot easier. Uh, but I will show you because this, this is where you can actually attach the tools onto the vacuum itself. So you've got the carry handle on the top here and you can just go and use the tools around the house. Also, if you get the handle of the vacuum, then you've actually got a little latch at the top. So if you open that, then this will actually attach onto the hose there. And what that enables you to do is you can actually carry the vacuum around. And also, if you wanted to get up high, then you can just attack, pop, pop one of the tools in the end there. And it just enables you to get up higher, say if you need cobwebs from the corner. So again, it's a, a really nice design. Uh, it's quite unique in the market, but I must say I do really like it. So as I mentioned about the tool storage, uh, it does also come with this. This is like a, a little tool caddy that you can put on. You don't have to, uh, some people might choose not to, uh, but all it does is it just clips on at the top there. And then all you do is you just put the, the tools on there it's just a good way to store the store the tools themselves uh, but I'm really glad they've done it as as an option because there will be some people that don't want to store the tools on there so I did mention earlier about the filter actually located within the bin so that's one of the filters this model actually come with the two filters uh, so you've got this one so this is a HEPA filter um, so this is a, a really good one so if you do suffer with things like allergies around the house then this could be the model to look for purely on that basis alone. 
so with the HEPA filter, it is easy to clean. You just give it a rinse under water. Um, make sure it's fully dry, so don't put it back into the vacuum straight away uh, because you will find that it will damage the vacuum. Uh, you've also got a little foam filter behind here. Uh, so with that one, again, just, just give it a rinse under water and let it dry. Once they're fully dry, then just pop them back in and then you're ready to go. So I think there's enough of me talking about the vacuum. I think we need to give it a go. So when you actually use the vacuum, uh, it's a nice simple design. All you do is you just put your foot on the front and then it pulls back. Um, it's something I do really like. Um, I know it's a, a very simple operation, but some manufacturers have a, a foot pedal at the back uh, and that's normally the first thing to break. But I'm glad that Loop have done it this way. So what I've got is, first of all, I've got some porridge oats on the floor and I've got some cornflakes. Uh, cornflakes are always a big challenge for vacuums. Uh, quite a few manufacturers do struggle with this because they are quite big particles. Uh, also to note that the the carpet we've got here, this is in a showroom, it is, it's not a great carpet but it's quite wiry. So again, quite a few manufacturers of cordless vacuums do struggle with this. So let's have a go. If you have been following me for a while on my YouTube channel then you will see I have done quite a few demonstrations and not many of the cordless vacuums have been able to do that straight away. Uh, normally I have to pass over several times before it picks it up. Uh, so apart, uh, I'm quite speechless because that has really impressed me. Uh, so what I'll do now is actually use it in the carry mode and what I will do is I will use the hose and I'll use this attachment as well just to see if we can get the rice up. Uh, again, I will use it on the maximum suction. Uh, for things like this, this would be a normal operation. So let's see how well it performs. So again, very impressive uh, because with this carpet and this everything was really close to the corner. So, so first impressions of the vacuum are really positive. Uh, I'm really pleased that Loop have come up with a 60 minute runtime, uh, which at this level is really what they needed. It, they need to have the hour runtime. Uh, the bin capacity, I'm again really pleased that they've come up with a, a one litre capacity. Uh, you will find that not many of the manufacturers are anywhere near that. Uh, when it comes to things like the, the overall design, uh, it's something that um, I have had a look at the website and what Loot want to do is they don't want to have a vacuum where you just buy it and then you have to replace it in a couple of years. Uh, it's not really the idea of this. That's why they've come up with the battery that can be taken out and replaced. A lot of the other parts on the vacuum can be replaced as well. Uh, if you just go onto the website then you'll see a full list of all the parts and accessories that you can order. So it's nice to know that you've got a vacuum that isn't just a, a one year or a two year fad like with a lot of other manufacturers. It's something that has been designed to last for years and if anything needs to be replaced, because things do happen, so if anything needs to be replaced then it's nice to know that you've got that comfort. If you're thinking of buying one of these models, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed the video on the Loop Pure Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. Uh, something I've been looking forward to for a while and I must say I'm, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, so what I'd normally ask is on our videos please give us a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave any comments below. Uh, I'd always ask for comments on my videos, whether it's good or bad, what you thought about it. Uh, if you've got any questions on the loop then just again leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. 
Thanks for watching.